Well, right there, Raiders. Shout out to our sponsors, Parlay Play. Sign up in the link below, lads. We have another update video for you here with the 97 overall Raider themed team and Madden 22 Ultimate Team. OMG, we had to bust out the massive shield logo t-shirt for this one. Are you kidding me? Like, I I did not expect to go from a 96 to a 97 in one week. It's been one week since we dropped, like a week and a day since we dropped our last update video. We might not be done. We, we le legit might be a 98 overall by this time next week with team of the year coming out and a, a fair few Raiders coming your way. This is absolutely awesome. At the end of the video, we're going to have our next gut Fox meme. So you're going to want to hang around for that. And hey, if it's your first time here, please hit the sub like button and hit the bell icon. So you never miss a Trump monkey video. Helps me out a lot. Look at this 97 OVR. The offense is still a 96. The D is a 97. Let's jump into this team, lads. Wait till you have a look at what we've done here. This is absolutely freaking awesome. Oh my God. I'll be removing my camera once we get to like that particular segment. But here we go. Starting with the O-line. We're still rocking our Tony Baselli at left tackle, right? 97 OBR. Colton Millers at 83. John Hanna still at, at left guard 76. We threw Roger Saffold in there, right? Uh, he's not even powered up. Just a free card. Uh, on his own right now. If he gets a team of the year, wowzers. Man, that guy might be a 99 overall. He's going to be huge. All right, Kevin Mawai is our center. We got full Rodney Hudson as well at uh, backing him up at center. Joe Delamalure at right guard and Denzel Good backing him up. Then we went and got Jackie Slater on the cheap, lads. I picked him up for like 200 and I was able to power him up because training was so cheap for about 50K, I think. Maybe, maybe I might have got lucky with a snipe there. Um, mate, 250k for a 97 overall right tackle because he bumps up one overall because we've got five Rams in the lineup, right? Then we got Brandon Parker right here backing up at right tackle. Then the cookie monster, Jared Cook, absolutely killing it for us at tight end in, in, in house rules. That's the only head to head I'm playing right now. Although we did win a Super Bowl on stream last week and then we defended it with an AFC Champo game loss. And of course, mate, we're undefeated if it isn't flag, right? Darren Waller, fully expecting him to get a team of the year upgrade. Eric Tomlinson is our other tight end backup as well. Now this is Jerry Rice, okay? Interestingly enough, we have been experimenting with the West Coast, okay? It's off right now. The West Coast is off, but he goes to a 99 overall with one West Coast uh, equipped and then one deep, spout uh, deep route specialist equipped as well. Emmanuel Sanders is for all those AFC chems is uh, our backup there. The fridge is still our fullback. Alec Ingold backing him up. Derrick Henry, listen, we had Carson Palmer. First of all, he was only a 96 over yard. Didn't buff at all. Second of all, man, I'm not that high on Carson Palmer as a Raider fan. I don't know about the rest of you Raider Nation members down there, but this Derrick Henry has been a game changer for me. He has made head-to-head -head in mutt. Really, really enjoyable. You can just do whatever you want with him. And house rules is just, it's insane. I am expecting, because of the massive Raider fan base, and the fact that he probably has the best release and abilities of all of the other Team of the Year votees, I'm expecting Derek Carr to be a really strong chance to get Team of the Year. Like, I really, really am. I think that the fans might go with Lamar. But honestly, like, fans are pretty freaking toxic too. And a, a lot of people don't think that highly of Lamar anymore. I think it could be Derek right there, okay? Uh, Bo Jackson. Bo knows is still my uh, uh, running back. Beast Mode, I'm expecting for the first weekend of uh, Ultimate Legends. Fully expect Beast Mode mid-Feb. Uh, and Joshy Jacobs is back up there. And we've got Hunter Renfro in the slot. Let me hide my cam for a sec so you can see this right here. And then uh, Cliffy Branch, 99 speed. Still at wide out one. And Randy Miles backing him up. I tell you what, lads. I tell you what, Cliff Branch... Probably still the best. Well, listen, Renfro is the best performing wide receiver. I got route technician on him, okay? But uh, other than that, though, considering he's got zero abilities, Cliff Branch gets it done a lot. Jerry's been solid as a he's been solid as a rock, okay? But Cliff Branch is still the big playmaker, the big playmaker, the big X receiver. He's been killing it for me, lads. That's the team. That's the team right there. We got Derrick Henry uh, and Renfro basically as our only abilities, okay? 
Uh, pause the video if it's your first time here and you want to see the Raider buff. Pause right there, okay? Uh, deep route specialist buffs right here. Okay, deep route specialist again. And then some deep route specialists again. Just pause the video if you want to see those. But look, we managed to get five out of five Bengals, Pats, Rams, and Titans. And something really interesting happened. Uh, look, uh, shout out to the, the community out there because it's it's dudes uh, like Cameron Wisdom leaving comments on videos tr telling me that actually for every, for every plus five of uh, one of these stats, it's another plus strength to that particular team. But guess who's also getting the plus strength because it's weird and it's broken? It's Roger Saffold right here. So this Roger Saffold right now has plus seven strength. He's getting two from the Rams for some unknown reason. And he's getting one from the Raiders, one from the Titans, one from the Pats, one from the Bengals. Excuse me, two from the Raiders. It's crazy. And so all of those dudes, uh, that, and especially the Whitehead, we'll have a look at defense. He's my backup free safety. They're all getting all of the buffs that you get for every team. It's weird if that team comes from that conference. So Whitehead, because he gets both conferences, gets them all. Let's jump over to the defense right now, okay? Let me show you what I'm talking about right here. Jackie Tatum, yeah? Jackie Tatum right there is still my starting free safety. But look at Jordan Whitehead, 97 over yard. This is, this is the one I want to have a look out for you. He gets both, all the buffs that you're getting on any NFC team, uh, theme team. If you've gone to five, or more out of a particular theme team from the NFC, he's getting the buff. And AFC. And of course, Bucks as well, if you're running the Bucks theme team. It's kind of insane, guys. It's kind of it's kind of crazy. Look at the plus strength right here. Right there. Plus seven strength on Jordan Whitehead. It's kind of nuts, man. Look, if he had better man coverage, and the fact I love Jack Tatum, the assassin, as all Raider Nation members do, he might very well be a st starting free safety just to get the extra overall buff. But look, he's our backup right now. I'm using my power-up pass on him, all right? Which I'm, I'm saving spare. Power-up pass is being used on Whitehead. Phenomenal stuff. Brad Van Pelt. I put out a tweet the other day of Van Pelt running down the QB, swatting the ball to himself, and then running it in for six. Holy crap. Benson Mayo was still our backup. Junior Seau with the Raider cam because using the Season 1 Master version. Corey Littleton. It's a dead spot in terms of a Raider cam, but he gets all the buffs, so he's still a 96 over yard. Uh, Derek Johnson, 94 overall. Uh, Raekwon McMillan there, backup as well. Denzel Perryman, I think, has a really good chance. Really, really good chance of, of beating Fred Warner for the middle linebacker spot. I think it's a race between those two, though. I agree. Lots of Niners fans. It's a popular theme team, too. But Raiders and Bolts fans uniting to vote for Perryman. You never know. Khalil McAttack is still our left outside linebacker. Quinton Jefferson gets alternate position left outside linebacker. I just want to give a highlight to old Quint Jefferson right here, guys. Because he is pretty incredible at 290 pounds and 6'4", plus 92 strength and 89 speed. I just think it's cool. I just think it's great. With a left outside linebacker, I mean, that's a big boy. That's a big boy out there with a lot of speed. So, look, he's only covering on special teams at the moment, but it's fun to have him in the lineup. Teddy Hendricks is now a 99 overall. We had a look at this last week. Uh, look, we've got Mind Reader and Secure Tackler as our strat items on defense, and they are buffing all of our players from anywhere between three to one overall. I think everybody's actually getting a plus two overall at this stage. It's kind of wild. Absolutely wild. Wham Bam Cam's a 98. Fully expecting him to get an upgrade any day now as well. Here's one of the new guys. A Philippe a Buchanan. A very nice. Uh, solid as a rock. Let's have a look at him because uh, his stats are brand new and he wasn't in the previous uh, previous lineup video. So let's have a look at Phil Buchanan right here. He's got the 96 speed, the 98 man, the 92 zone. And of course, he still gets torched by by a tight end with 90 speed on a drag route. But hey, what you gonna do? Uh, the crazy high agility, I haven't seen it yet. If anything, Buchanan is probably the weakest link <laughs> defensively, which is just wild. I know it doesn't make any sense, but look, he's in the lineup. We're happy to have him there. We love him. Bill Buchanan, pull up a stool, 
Cordero Patterson is now our cornerback five. I was getting so sick of him as well. So I'm glad he's now backing up. Let's get it rid of my camera as we go over to the other corners as well. Jack Youngblood got a bump. So he's a 98 over yard now. Mad Max Crosby, I think he's going to get a rising star. I think Mad Max is getting a rising star on Wednesday. Hot take. You heard it here. The free DJ Reader. I powered him up for absolutely... I think I had the power-up passes for most of his stuff. Dirt cheap. Hardly any training. And he's a 98 overall for free from the Forge. So, yes, you get in my lineup if you're a 98 overall for free. Hell, yeah. So, Vincey Wilfork's gone. Why? Because this enormous, enormous hunk of a man right here. Warren Sapp. There's, there's a guy buffing from a 96 to a 99. Look at that. In our lineup with our Stroud item. 78 speed. Did him dirty. 97 strength, 97 play rec, 98 tackle, 96 block shed, 97 power move, 93 finesse move. Bro, this is a mean, mean man. This is a bad man. Honestly, honestly, he's just a wrecking ball against the run and the pass. And he gets a Raider card out. I'm so pumped for that. Absolutely awesome sap daddy killing it we got malik collins backing up and then big mo Hurst as well phenomenal stuff all right richard seymour still our right end for now but i fully expect yannick and gokway to have a chance at winning this team of the year right end position it might be miles garrett he's a fan favorite without a doubt but i hope it's yanni I hope yanni gets some love here we powered up pj williams why not the training was so cheap the training was so cheap i think i grabbed a 94 for about 70k might have, yeah, something in the 70s. And then I was able to power him up. It was so easy. So yeah, PJ Williams now in the slot. Acrobat on all my DBs. And then we powered up Jalen Ramsey. And uh, he's a 98 OVR. Looking mean. Woody's the backup. I'm expecting a Rod Woodson this week. Either that or for Super Bowl. But I'm expecting a Rod Woody soonish. Right? So that's going to be nice to get him in the lineup. Uh, free Ramsey. Free Williams. What is not to love, man? The free 98s in your lineups? Come on. The Youngbloods, the Readers, the Williams, the Ramseys for free? 98 OVRs? Are you having a bubble? Absolutely loving it. All right. Oh, sorry. Let's have a look at the uh, let's have a look at the secure tackle and mind reader buffs as well here. Pause the video if you want to see these. They are helping an absolute ton, though. They really, really are. They're phenomenal. Phenomenal. Special teams. Uh, we haven't picked up Morton, Morton Anderson yet, but I will because it helps the OVR. Uh, the punter is still Foxy and Nick Folk. Uh, CPATS is uh, returning kicks. Probably get him out of there pretty soon because, you know, he doesn't even have bloody bloody hot route master anymore. Specialists. Uh, Bo Jackson and Divine Diablo are still seeing the field. Jackie Youngblood, pass rush on the, on the left end. Sap Daddy in the middle. Richard Seymour, PJ Williams in the slot, Hunter Renfro, slot receiver, and Bonos is our all down back. Strat items, just in case you, you, you're wondering. Raiders O, Finns D, uh, deep route specialist. Uh, one of them is plus spec, plus speed. The other is plus speed, plus jump. And then uh, secure tackler is giving uh, tackle awareness, pursuit, play rec, and strength, as you saw there. And then mind reader, uh, play rec, awareness, pursuit, tackle, and man coverage. No program, Strat item. For playoffs, sad face, right? But I guess everybody be a 99 then. So there we go, guys. That's the team. Um, I got to tell you, I was so pumped when I saw Warren Sapp go to 99. I was just like, wow. Okay, so I've got my defensive tackle done for the year. You know, my middle linebacker done for the year. My strong safety done for the year. You know, I, I love it when I can just tick off one of the boxes with a 99 over here. It, it really does make me very, very, very happy. You know, uh, look, Jerry actually is a 99 overall with the with the West Coast in there. Uh, and Branch, he goes to a 98 as well. You lose the speed on Branch, but Jerry's still a 99 speed with that. So that's probably the way we're going to be going shortly. Uh, and, and building, personally, me anyway, I'm going to be building towards the rare West Coast. There's two of them, so you can actually stack them. Uh, but Playfake's the other good one to look at on the old offensive side of the ball that uh that is it guys 
pretty pretty phenomenal stuff i might just because i get a lot of questions well 15 minute video that went that went a little longer than i expected i'm just going to show you the strat items here uh and then we're going to finish off with our guff fox meme guff fox meme to end the video uh, i'm just going to show you the the good strat items that are actually buffing on offense so this is like west coast is giving a really really good uh account of itself here um, because it is actually, as you can see, the short accuracy, impact block, and short route running and catch. So the impact block is helping the O-line. The short accuracy is helping the QB. The short route running is helping wide receivers, tight ends, and halfbacks. And catch is helping the same, same, the skill position group. So that's why it's giving a nice buff. And, uh, and yeah, it's really, really helping in particular with the wide receivers, I would say, is most noticeable. Uh, and then where is our, uh, oh, we don't even have play fake anymore, but we're, we're aiming for a play fake, aiming for a play fake as well. But I think West Coast gives the best buffs to absolutely everybody. Okay, guys, you have been very, very good. Hey, if you're still watching, absolute legends, the diehard fans watching to the very end. And I appreciate you. Okay. Here we go. Got Fox meme of the video. Five years in the den. Still a virgin. If you know, you know, man. That's a deep cut. That's a deep cut. <laughs> Lads, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Maybe we'll be a 98 OVR. Let's see what happens with Team of the Year and hopefully we get our predictions right. Have an awesome Monday. We'll see you soon.